Congestive heart failure affects over 5 million Americans, but it is still the most commonly misunderstood type of heart disease. So what exactly is congestive heart failure? Congestive heart failure is a condition in which the heart's pumping power is weaker than normal and cannot pump enough blood and oxygen throughout the body. When the heart is unable to pump blood as effectively as usual, the movement of blood throughout the body slows. At this point, blood begins to back up into the veins returning to the heart, which causes congestion in the chest tissue. It is from this feeling of congestion that congestive heart failure gets its name. The most common cause of congestive heart failure is coronary artery disease, the same condition responsible for angina and heart attack. Events which damage the heart, such as heart attack or cardiomyopathy, which is what we call damage to the heart from causes like an infection, can also lead to congestive heart failure. As well, congestive heart failure often comes about when a patient has a condition that chronically overworks the heart, like high blood pressure or diabetes. One of the most common symptoms of congestive heart failure is water retention, which occurs because of the reduced blood flow to the kidneys. This water retention causes swelling, known as edema, which occurs most commonly in the legs and ankles. Other typical symptoms of congestive heart failure include shortness of breath, congested lungs, fatigue, and an irregular or rapid heartbeat. Doctors who suspect that a patient has congestive heart failure can attempt to confirm the diagnosis with a variety of blood tests or an EKG, which measures and charts the electrical impulses traveling through the heart. Managing congestive heart failure begins with some lifestyle changes. Patients can improve their quality of life by adopting a healthy diet, low in sodium and cholesterol, and eating lots of fiber and potassium. A moderated approach to daily life with planned rest and the careful avoidance of overexertion is recommended. As well, several kinds of medications can be helpful, including beta blockers to improve the heart's pumping action and diuretics to help remove salts and fluids from the body. Some patients may eventually require heart valve surgery or heart transplantation. Most people with mild to moderate congestive heart failure can lead normal and productive lives especially if the disease is found in its earliest stages. If you suspect you may be suffering from congestive heart failure or have any concerns about your heart health, please seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health care provider. Want to learn more? Check out other videos and sources on this site for more information. Oh.